I am a PhD candidate, the fourth year in the School of Physics, and a part of the Center for Relativistic Astrophysics here at Georgia Tech. Well, I was I was invited by the Embassy of India and the National Science Foundation to represent the LIGO experiment and the discovery that has happened. First of all, I wasn't sure that they'll allow me to have my phone while I'm seeing the Prime Minister, but when I had and while the meeting ended, and I went up to him, asked in the language Gujarati that we speak that. Can I have a selfie with you? And he was so happy. He's like, oh yeah, sure. I was also part of the effort to bring LIGO India project. So when the prime minister was all excited and he mentioned in the meeting that he reads my tweets. So apparently it's good to have be on social media too and spreading science. The first question he asked us was that what did Einstein thought so that he could have predicted gravitational waves like a hundred years ago? You didn't have the technology. You didn't have so much understanding of the universe. How could I have been so sure? And that question took me like also by surprise. It was a very genuine curiosity question. And I gave the response to him in my mother tongue, in my native language, which is the same language that he speaks. I, I mean, a leader of a nation, which has a billion problems, would have a billion things to think about. Still the fact that he made time to understand uh, science as complicated as LIGO and gravitational waves, it's just so cool. That just says how much science is a priority for, for a nation like India. I was emotional considering I can see that my own journey being from a small town in India where I had never even seen a telescope until I was in my first year of college. Uh, and seeing that now I am being a part of one of the greatest scientific discoveries of the century and that that project is happening in my country. I think, I think this is Einstein's true legacy that you see the two largest democratic nations in the world keeping science and technology as the forefront on how the next step of generation should be. This really tells us you know, how much important it is to fund fundamental science. And Einstein would be really happy about it.